spoilers. You can. That meant to happen. Hello, everybody, it's Mania. I've just left my old school and I'm starting a brand new school in year nine in September. And I'm so excited because I'm in a tutor group with my friend Daisy and our tutor's just really, really lovely. Anyway, my old school bag from Animal has well and truly started falling apart. So I thought, new school, let's get a new bag. And I really liked the look of black tote bags as school bags. So I went into Primark, had a wander around and noticed one that looked great for just £10 but when I got closer it wasn't such good quality and it wasn't as big as I needed it. There are some lovely bags in H&M, I think the style is called a shopper but because I'm so fussy I didn't think that the straps would be big enough for me. So when I went into House of Fraser I noticed this Calvin Klein tote bag which caught my eye because not just because it's such great quality but because it's so big and it has so oh, it's fallen and because it has so many compartments as well when i got the bag i immediately took off the ck logo thing because i thought it was a tad showy for my bag and i didn't necessarily want my bag to, to stand out that's the one to stand out from everyone else's but to replace it on the handles i got a hand sanitizer this is just the sweet cinnamon pumpkin pocket back from Bath and Body Works and it came in a black pocket back holder which I thought would match nicely with my bag but I just thought that this is such a nice autumnal scent because I'm going back in autumn and at school you're going to be touching gross things, there's boys at school, got to be prepared. I wanted to get a lunchbox that fits perfectly into the front compartment of my bag so from Black and Blum I got this lunchbox I think the brand is Box Appetit because that's what it says on the front of the lunchbox and it's just a regular lunchbox until you get inside because this is the best bit it has a little sliding divider which you can choose to either have or not and like you can choose what place to have it so you can have a big portion for cake and a tiny bit for like a bit of salad because that's how my lunch is going to be. I don't really tend to eat as much at school as I do at home, so this lunchbox is literally perfect for me. Like my lunchbox, I wanted a water bottle that fits perfectly into a compartment, so I got this one. Has anyone ever had that horrible experience at school where your water bottle leaks and literally your whole bag is ruined and all your books are ruined and your teachers are like really not impressed and neither are you? This water bottle has a little water seal so that's never happening to me again and also it has little ridges so you can that meant to happen it also has little ridges so it's not gonna get stuck and you can undo it well also don't comment down below that it looks like a blooming whiskey flask because it's not it's not a whiskey flask it's water i promise Recently I went to Paper Chase and I got one of their zipper files. This is great for keeping your work in and also in case I do have one of those water bottle disasters it's also watertight so I'm not going to get any leakage on my homework or any letters that I need to hand in. In the, in the moment, at the moment in here I just have some sticky notes from Paper Chase and also the pack of mini fine liners that I get every year because I'm taking French as a GCSE I think that this is going to be perfect because sometimes you need to write in different colours like for masculine, feminine, plural, French, English so I just got the same pack that I get every year I've kind of got a bit of an unintentional purple theme going on here but we were in Winchester on holiday and so I went into Tink and I noticed this which is possibly the cutest thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life it's this mini set of office stationery like everything you would need there's a little hole punch a little pencil sharpener a little stapler a little pair of scissors look how cute they are they're actually quite sharp I've tested them out I got a staple remover which I'm not exactly sure how out it works I'm not sure how it works I also have a little mini sellotape, a refill for sellotape and also some staple refills. 
I opted to get two pencil cases this year instead of just one. This is from Sasson Bell and has the most adorable little British birds design on it. Inside I just kind of have everything that I would need in every lesson. This is just kind of my bare necessities pencil case. I have in it a folding ruler which I think everyone will need. I have some little scissors, the cutest little rubbers ever from Paper Chase. I have a little macaroon and just a little biscuit. Okay, here we go, pens. I have my photography pen because I'm taking photography and it has cameras on it. This is from Paper Chase. A cupcake pen from Paper Chase. Some black pencils with gems at the bottom from Paper Chase. A rose gold pen, which was on my July favourites from Paper Chase. And my favourite pens ever, ever, ever to write in. These are the Paper Mate Ink Joy clicky pens. I love these pens. For my other pencil case, I've just got a clear one. You can get these from most places. I got mine from WH Smith's. Inside, I have, okay, this is my last purple thing. This is an electric rubber from Tink. I don't like the noise of it, but I've had these in the past and they are really, really good. But it just sounds a bit like a dentist drill. I don't like that sound because it reminds me of me getting my braces on. And also inside I just have a glue stick, a Helix Oxford pencil sharpener with the two holes because I thought that would be, what's the word, useful. I also have a mini pack of highlighters from Paper Chase. This is also from Paper Chase. It's in a card holder, but I just thought that the design was pretty. And inside I just have some rose gold bulldog clips and rose gold paper clips. These were also in my favourites. And just some scotch tape strips. These are very cute. And left over in this pencil case are just the Crayola 36 pack of colouring pencils. I have two maths things. I just have the Helix Oxford set of mathematical instruments, complete and accurate set that everyone has. It's just got tractors, compasses, it's got a stencil in it, that's new. I just get one of these every year at the start of the year. And then I have the best calculator ever. It's the one that everyone has, but it's different to everyone else's because it's white and grey and those are my two favourite colours and also it matches the colour scheme of my bedroom which literally everything has to if you know me so I was very very happy when I found this in WH Smith's in the compartment next to my water bottle I keep my phone which might not sound like the best idea but my water bottle's got like the watertight seal on so I trust it with my life this is just the iPhone 4s and I still have my Thought Park ticket underneath my case. Go check out my Thought Park vlog, wink wink. <laughs> then I will have the reading book which I am currently reading, which right now is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I noticed this in the Zoella book club, so I decided to pick it up and this book is amazing. I honestly cannot put it down and I would recommend it to everyone. And inside I kind of just have this little bookmark which I got from a shop in my town. So it's a really nice color. It's like a silvery color, which just goes with everything in my bag. Oh, it's just come loose. Oh, what do we do? Oh, there we go. I had a bit of a kerfuffle in Urban Outfitters with this one. I just have a little notebook. This is the Black Marble Odeer one. And I was going to get the white marble one, but they apparently have just like discontinued that. So I decided to go with the black one instead and I had to return it and everything because I'd accidentally got the pink one thinking it was a white one, but it wasn't because it was a pink one. So I had to go down the store, but they wouldn't give it to me. So I just had to buy this one. And I'm very happy with it actually because it's kind of like yin and yang with my iPad case because I wanted to get a white marble one to match my iPad case. But now I quite like the two together because I just think it's really cute. This was in my favourites as well. This is just a gold iPad mini 3 because we needed one for school. And what else can I say? It's an iPad. 
you know? This is by far my favourite part of my whole bag. This is my little beauty bag and it's by Ted Baker and it's got rose gold on the name badge and also on the zip. And I got this from Boots. Inside I kind of just have all my beauty bits and bobs. I have a mini hand food hand cream by Soap and Glory. This is my all time favourite hand, I forgot what it's called then, hand cream and it smells like marshmallow. Some bobby pins from Boots and some hair ties from Boots. We have to tie our hair up in PE, so come prepared. A Nivea invisible deodorant because our shirts are white and our blazers are black, so no staining's gonna happen there. I have an EOS lip balm in Honeysuckle, which is so moisturising and smells literally amazing. I love this. I also have a Barry M Coconut Infusion Nail Paint in the shade Surfboard. It's a lovely pale pink colour because at our school we're only allowed to wear pale pink nail polish, so I have this in case it gets chipped beyond repair and I need to repaint my nails. A Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. A 17 Stay Time Concealer in the shade Extra Fair because I'm really pale. And then to blend those in, I have the Mini Trio Brush Set by Real Techniques. It has a mini face brush, a mini pointed foundation brush and a mini shading brush. This is literally the most adorable thing ever and this is going to be so, so, so handy. And then finally, I have a mini Their Real Mascara by Benefit. In the little zip pocket here, right at the back, which is very tucked away, I just have these elastic bands, which I have for my brace in case they snap. I have a little bag, which everybody knows what's in here. I don't really need to go over that. A mini tangle teaser, which is a very cute hairbrush. It has a little case, so. That made a really loud noise, basically so no gross stuff gets in there. And finally, one of my favorite things in my whole bag, a little mirror, which isn't an ordinary mirror because when you switch the on button, there's a little light so you can just do your makeup, even if it's dark. My bag feels so light and empty right now, but I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in it. If you did, please give a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you had any favorite things, please tell me what they were in the comments below. And also comment down below what you have in your school bag. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Find table spaces, say your social graces, bow your head.